Decades of research have highlighted the importance of adherence to antihypertensive medication to decrease the cardiovascular risks. The patients manage their medication by themselves and therefore patient participation, satisfaction uh, with and understanding of the regime may be critical for the outcome of the care. To achieve concurrence, that is a mutual understanding of the need for medication, health providers need to understand the patient's need for information about their medicines. The relationship between patient-centeredness and satisfaction with care has been outlined in research and patients have expressed that they want more information about drug-related problems. With this background, we wanted to explore how the hypertensive patient's satisfaction with information about their medicines was affected by nurses trained in patient-centeredness. We recruited nurses working at nurse-led hypertension clinics at health centers in Sweden. Of the 35 nurses, 19 were randomized to participate in the intervention group to have education in the stage of change model, motivation interviewing with its uh, patient centeredness, and they were also updated in hypertension guidelines. Simulated patients were uh, used in the uh, video recorded role play where the nurses uh, used their counseling technique. They also had feedback on their role play. To see the effect, the 19 educated nurses included 137 hypertensive patients to follow up for two years. The 60 nurses acting as controls included 51. The patients fill in an instrument named Satisfaction with Information about Medicine. The higher the score on the instrument, the greater the adherence. The first part of the instrument contained questions about the patient's satisfaction with information about the action uh, and usage of their medicines. The second part was about potential problems. We added questions about where the patients had received their information and how useful they thought it was. From one to two years there was a significant increase in the scores in the intervention group and a significant uh, difference could be seen between the groups about satisfaction with information about potential problems of their medication. Most often information was received from the pharmacy and physicians and nurses at hospitals and health centers. The most useful information was from the nurses besides from the pharmacy. The effect of the nurses' one-time training we assume is that their patients became more secure and independent regarding their medication. And that was what the counseling training was about, to make the patients more competent to take care of them themselves that is to perform self-care.